If you love fresh, new spring color combinations, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel, and in today's video I'll be using some of Katherine Pooler's Boho Trends products that were released today. So first, let me share the new Katherine Pooler Boho Trends stamps, dies, and new mini ink pads that I'll be working with today. First up is the Smile Bright stamp set. This is a very fun rainbow builder stamp set. So you can see the solid images of three different rainbow arcs. There are also patterned rainbow arcs. You can use those as layers over the solid or you can use them on their own. We'll do both in today's video. There's a cloud, a flower, a tassel, and lots of really sweet sentiments with the large ones being Smile and Bright. The Smile Bright dies cut out the three different arcs of the rainbow. They also cut out the cloud and the little tassels. And there's also a small flower and a small heart that you can stamp and cut out. And then there's a base rainbow shape or an arc die that you can use as well if you want to pop up your rainbow. There's also the Butterfly Buddies dies. These are two different butterfly dies, two different shapes of butterflies, two different sizes of butterflies. They cut out the, around the butterfly and all those details as well. And they are coming out with the Apothecary mini ink pads. So the Apothecary set has some gorgeous, orange, yellow, greens, and purples, perfect for spring. And now you can get that set in the minis. Now let's use these new supplies to make a few cards. I want to stamp out most of these stamps for you so you can see how they work together, how they work on their own. So first I'm going to stamp the solid image stamps and I'm using one of the mini ink pads. This is Ginger and this is from the Apothecary set. So of the Boho Trends collection with all these stamps and dies and this new release of the mini ink pads has that kind of vibe and all the colors in that set have that feeling as well. So I thought it'd be really fun to stick to that color combination and see what we can come up with. So I went outside it for the cloud. That was the only one I, I used outside of the collection. Now I'm going to, since I let the solid images dry, I'm going to stamp a second layer. And the second layer is going to be a decorative layer. So for this, I have terracotta and I'm going to stamp the decorative layer of terracotta onto the ginger arc. And then I'm going to stamp ginger onto the apricot arc. And then for the whipped honey, I ended up stamping with the stripes stamp and I used apricot on the whipped honey. But the problem is that's a lot of orange because the stripes are the thin places where it doesn't stamp. So I decided to stamp a small heart instead on a whipped honey center. So this way you get to see uh, the dark orange, the medium orange, and then the light yellow. And all of those have dies to cut them out, which is really nice because you can either do them flat to the card or pop them up. To create a mat, I'm going to just ink the edges of a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock. So I am using wintergreen ink. And for some reason, I did not purchase the refill for this one. So my ink pad is getting kind of dry. And that's why you can see it's leaving streaks and marks like that. Usually when you swipe these ink pads, they're so juicy, they'll just slide across the cardstock. Again, it's just a really great way to create a mat for your card that matches perfectly with your stamping. And you don't have to buy a whole other piece of card stock. I grabbed two sentiments from the stamp set. I stamped you make my heart and then I stamped smile and I first stamped it in apricot and then just inked up the top half in ginger and stamped that. So we have that multicolor smile. I'm using some Thermoweb Memory Runner XL to adhere my rainbow arcs down to my panel and you could obviously, because I cut them out, you could pop them up. For this card, I felt like there was enough going on that I didn't need all that extra dimension. I did cut the cloud into two thirds and one third so I could put one on either side of those sentiments. And I ended up getting some wintergreen ink on one of the clouds. So I decided to stamp some little wintergreen hearts right on the cloud to create a little pattern there. 
So what started as a mistake ended up, I think, looking kind of cute. I hadn't thought of doing little hearts in the clouds before, but I really like the way that they turned out. Again, this color combination is so fresh and different and outside the box of what I would normally use. So I really like to dive in and try out combinations like that. For this next card, I'm going to use the greens and purples, a little bit of yellow, and those all, again, come from that Apothecary collection. Even though I'm using the large stamp pads instead of the minis, it is all the same colors. And this time I'm actually only stamping the pattern arcs of the rainbow and then cutting them all out. Next, I'm going to use the ink pads to swipe to create some cardstock colors. So I'm not covering the whole bit of cardstock because I just need a size big enough for those butterflies. For the sentiment bright this time, I'm going to multicolor stamp and use my finger to wipe away any harsh lines. And again, I just love those two colors together. That is the ginger and apricot. This time I'm going to pop up each arc of the rainbow. So I have a little bit of foam tape all around that arc and I'm going to place that underneath the sentiments that I stamped. And then you can easily line up each of the arcs. There is a little bit of white space in between them. The way that I line them up is looking at the bottom of the arcs. If all of the feet kind of go along together in the same line, you know you have them pretty much perfectly lined up. For the butterflies, I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid glue just on the bodies of the butterfly and hold that down until it's a little bit dry and that will allow me to lift up those wings. I love dimensional looking butterflies flying off the card. I think they're so cute. And these are beautiful and detailed and you can get those matching colors by using your ink pads. Once again, I'm gonna create a mat for my card panel. And so I'm using crushed velvet and I'm just going to swipe along the edges. You don't need to waste all that ink by swiping along the entire cardstock if you're gonna mat a four by five and a quarter on an A2 background there. So all you need is a little stripe around all of the edges. And that, again, just a great way to get some matching cardstock in the background for your card. There are those little stamps again there are little flowers and a little heart. I'm gonna use the little flowers in lilac to make that visual triangle. The middle arc is lilac and the two flowers are. And triangles like that just draw the eye around the card. For this card, I stamped both sentiments in Catherine Pooler's Midnight Ink. So it's very bold and a great black for stamping sentiments. And this time I'm going to create four swatches of colors and cut out four different butterflies, two of the larger ones and two of the smaller ones. And the great thing about this color combination is that all of these colors look great together. So I have four different butterflies all inked and die cut from the Apothecary collection. I am gonna trim down the panel to four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to adhere those butterflies down into the top corners and bottom corners of the card. And again, I'm just gonna put liquid adhesive on the butterfly body and adhere it down, hold it in place. Once they're dry, you can really pop up the wings, but I just like to hold them in place for a few seconds to make sure they're going to stay exactly where I put them. And then I just add that little bit of dimension by folding the wings towards the center. I am gonna use a black piece of cardstock to mat this because I thought it went really well with the sentiment and that background. And then I'm just going to stamp a couple of flowers. I have lilac here for the first flower, and then I have the whipped honey for the second flower. A very clean and simple card, so much fun to make, and again, love this color combination. I don't know about you, but these fresh new color combinations and bright happy stamps have me dreaming about spring. If you wanna see more about Catherine Pooler Inc and color combinations, check out this video next. As always, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.